All right, everybody, let's get ready to rumble. Apart from slavery, one of the things that has taken away the dignity of man is global poverty, a condition where man can no longer meet his basic needs, such as nutrition, education, health care, and shelter. Good evening, Georges, fellow talkmates. The right of humans to have a means of existence is being cut short by our unequal distribution of wealth and resources. Children are the greatest asset for the future. How then can we accumulate wealth and riches when 640 million kids have no access to shelter? 270 million kids have no access to health care. They die of diseases daily. 73 million girls have no hope for education at all. The stakes that they will remain illiterate the rest of their life is very high. Are we saying that the poor can sink into their ruins as long as the rich people palace are rising? Or are we saying that the rich are more important or more human than the poor? Accumulation of riches is wrong. It is a product of greed especially when public funds are being diverted into private accounts and the money for the nation embezzled into foreign countries. A dying world stands before us and we have the chance to save a life, to make a change. A chance to leave our marks not just on history papers but on the lives of living beings. Let our conscience be the judge. I hope we have not lost it. Thank you. Anne, you spoke about global poverty, how it's been cut short by meager resources, all well and good. You spoke about the illiteracy, which is one of the um, fallouts of poverty. You mispronounced uh, kids. You said kids. And this, I think, is a, a common problem. The vowel, i, the short vowel, i. It's not e, it's i.